This is part two of the new features of MechaWind. This is covering MechaWind Pro. So MechaWind Pro includes everything that the basic MechaWind version includes, but now it's got a couple of new features. So if we perform an analysis at the bottom, there's a button that says MWFRS Pressures and Reactions. That's now active because we have the Pro version. Uh, MWFRS stands for Main Wind Force Resistance System. So if we click we click that it brings up this this menu this screen and it shows the pressures acting on all the different surfaces the arrow represents the direction of the wind and each pressure has a vector associated with it so this is showing that the pressure on that windward uh, the winds coming from the left to the right, uh, from the left towards the right. So the pressure, in this case, is acting uh, away from the surface. So it's a negative pressure. So it's negative 4.78. The pressure on the other side is also negative, and it's acting away. The the scale of the vectors is proportional to the pressure. So you can see that the pressures on this side are bigger than the pressures on this side. The pressures that we're showing here um, are for one set of conditions. So we have down here in the lower left, we have uh, wind acting on the link perpendicular to the ridge. That's telling us the wind's going this way. And the pressure is positive internal building pressure, uh, positive GCPI. So that gives us one set of pressures. If I click negative GCPI, the pressures change and they'll give me the, the pressures associated with the negative internal pressure. If I click the acting along uh, width, which is parallel to the ridge, now I get the wind acting along, along the length of this building. And we can do several things with the graphics. We can increase the density of the arrows if we want more arrows. You can see that. Um, we can also, let me get it back to where it was. We can also increase the size, the scale, I should say, of the vectors. They're still proportional to the pressure, but the, the size of the vectors are bigger. And we can change the text size. In this view here, the text, sometimes the text will wash out just due to the graphics. Um, but you can get it back by uh, by redrawing. This hammer is the rebuild tool. We can change the text to be bigger or smaller. That's a pretty good size for that one. Okay, we have all these layers on the right hand side and we can turn on or off certain layers if we're having a hard time seeing the graphic because it's too busy. And if we don't like the colors, uh, like for example, this light blue, um, there's this one right here. So we can double click that, and let's say I want to make that, uh, let's try white. Okay, so you can do that with any of the colors. Um, another important thing is this summary table at the bottom, total reactions at the base of the structure. So this is the total forces. If you could if you were theoretically supporting the building at its center at the very base of the building these are the total reactions acting at that point so for the wind acting in this direction along the ridge x is along the ridge we've got a force in the x uh, nothing in the y a y in this case is perpendicular to our wind direction we've got a force in the z which is vertical uh, a moment about the Y and the other two moments of zero. The reason we have FZ and MY is because we have uh, uneven pressures across the surface of this roof so that it does create some, um, some moment. Now we look at two cases because the code says you have to consider the greater of either the walls and the roof or the walls by themselves. So we run both cases to see which one is going to give the, the greater force, greater reactions. And in this case, it's the walls and the roof. Uh, 
some cases it won't do. And as we change the directions, we'll see that the reactions actually change accordingly. Um, it's worth noting that the positive and negative GCPI, when you're looking at the wall only case, because you're not taking the unbalanced pressures of the roof into consideration, those forces will usually be the same. So we have 53.92 in the FY column. Let's change that to, uh, sorry, negative GCPI, and that force stays the same. But the walls in the roof case does not stay the same. Those change. Uh, one more case that we have down here is minimum pressures. The code has a requirement that you consider a minimum pressure regardless of everything else. You have to consider at least a certain minimum pressure on the structure. And so that's what this does. It, it only applies wind to the planes that are perpendicular to the wind. So we have 16 PSF on the windward surface. We have nothing on the side walls, nothing on the leeward wall, but we do have uh, a pressure on the uh, leeward roof side um, of 8 PSF and the way this works, let me make these vectors a little bigger you can see here that on the roof the pressure is actually um, the pressure is actually parallel to the ground so it's not like in the case when we, let me look at one of these other load cases, see here the pressures are all normal to the surface, perpendicular to the surface in the minimum case, we're actually going parallel to the grade, uh, parallel to grade. That's the way the, the, the section is written in ASC 7, indicating how you should apply those pressures. So the areas are also taking into account the projection of that area normal to the plane of the wind. In the, let me see, one more thing on this screen. If we, we can change colors in the screen. Um, you can do whatever whatever you'd like or I can reset everything back to the standard colors um, you can also do print a uh, sorry these are coming up on my second monitor you can do a print graphics option and for this the combination that you have selected which in this case was a wind acting along the length perpendicular to the ridge and minimum pressures it'll give you all the different views uh, of the structure and the total reaction at the base and then a summary of what the pressures are. So you could do that for each of your cases that you would like. And it'll give you a nice little summary report. On the main menu, excuse me, on the main output, um, We've got a lot more options here now. We've got the uh, wind pressures normal to the ridge, which we had in the NECA wind base version, but now we have all these reaction summaries. So we've got reaction with the walls and the roof for positive GCPI. It's right here. And it shows you each individual surface, the pressure, the area, and then the reaction that's created from that. Uh, you've got the the walls only positive GCPI, walls in the roof negative GCPI, and so on. Um, a lot of information here. So the most useful thing is the summary. There's a total base reaction summary and it summarizes all the reactions for each of those cases. So you can quickly see in, in one place which loads are going to be uh, your worst case. This is where the we've talked a little bit in the first video about being able to turn on and off a certain output. This is where you might use the save table of contents and retrieve table of contents based on which options you choose to include in your output report. Uh, because as I mentioned, the wall pressures will often be the same for the positive and the negative. So you may not want to include both of those in your report because it, it does get rather bulky. So in this case, if we uh, if we printed everything, if we printed everything, we would be. Let's see how many pages we would have. Uh, we'd have. It's like 
six pages. Okay, and the this these pressures that button that I just showed you for the pressure graphic is only for all the different types of buildings. So uh, we could pick, let's say, the dome. Domed is a pretty complicated one. Okay, what the this one has a, this is a very complex uh, rules. You've got pressures um, acting all around the roof. And so we basically break it up into a bunch of uh, trapezoidal areas, kind of like a quilt, and calculate the pressure on each little panel and then apply the pressures there. So um, it's this will be rather complicated to do by hand. Um, uh, but the program will do that and it'll calculate all the resultant reactions as a result of that um, for low case A and then low case B and positive, negative, internal pressure and then uh, also the minimum pressures as well. So I hope that gives you a, a good idea of what MechaPro does. Thank you for your time.